This episode of The Patch is brought to you by Smite. Smite is the online battleground of the gods, where players choose from a diverse cast of deities and use their unique powers to triumph over the opposition in 5v5 team matches. Check out this new take on the MOBA genre for free at SmiteGame.com. Hey! Welcome to The Patch. <laughs> what? It's a patch. It's, it's a patch. Uh, Gus, Jack, and Ray. I, I looked at the TV. You did. Look yeah. at you guys. Uh, we're here to talk about video games and what's been happening this week. Video games. Do. Lots of stuff happening. Big week. Happening. Yeah. Gamescom, man. Lots of stuff goes up during Gamescom. When did it become a big show to do announcements at? Because I feel like three years ago, Gamescom was like a big, well-attended thing, but everyone announced at E3. And then I feel like like two years ago, maybe? like recently. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. It's now, stuff, it's stuff it's now it's like important. Like PlayStation had its whole thing at... Uh, games well, Microsoft. Micro- Microsoft like, had one too. Oh, they they showed off games. They didn't make any major oh, okay. announcements though. Like, like gotcha. four or five years ago, I contacted Gamescom on behalf of Rooster Teeth to see if we could get a booth there just yeah. for the just hell of it. I thought it would be funny. Yeah. Um, I could not find someone to speak English to me. <laughs> like, like every, it's, in Ger- it's in Germany? Yeah, every email I got back was in German. I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's like, it should be like, da, da, huh, da. Oh, now you're speaking racist. <laughs> like, all right. That's, so. that's their language. That's not racist. That's that's what they say. They speak yeah, German. They say other things, but da. Well, no, that was that's what Gus would say. Um, <laughs> That's what so, they told me. Okay. Can, can I have a booth? <laughs> nine. <laughs> so no, you're like, I just want one. Nine. I just want That's one. That's a response. Nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How much beer is that you're drinking right I'm now? I'm going to get this drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a test tube. Looks like, oh, wow. Mm, it's a, this is supposed to be a carafe for water. A carafe? Because I get uh, thirsty when we talk on the patch. Yeah. Uh, and so I bought it to, that way I would have some water here and I wouldn't get yeah. dehydrated. <laughs> and so and you I was put like, beer I'll just put beer in it instead. What's wrong with this? It's a water bottle. This is bigger. That is true. It'll last a lot longer. It's a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. So right. PS4 yeah. finally announced uh, a launch date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, November fifteenth, and then was it like two weeks later? Yeah, the twenty ninth in Europe. Mm-hmm. That's so because um, they don't, they don't celebrate that, Thanksgiving. That there. sucks for them though. Yeah, it like, sucks why? for them. But uh, oh, yeah. good yeah. for us. So uh, I still, I think it's a lot. It's a lot earlier than I was expecting because I think up until now they've just been saying by the end of the year. Really? Yeah. So I think a lot of people have been expecting like December. No, really? No, there's I no way you launch a console before Thanksgiving. Right. Or after Thanksgiving. Excuse me. But I mean, they they had just been saying by end of year. They hadn't been. I thought Actually, they had yeah, been saying holiday. Yeah, no, they they've been saying this year. So like, uh, Microsoft doesn't have a release date. Microsoft has November. They just said November. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm I'm convinced. I well before before Sony announced their dates, I was convinced the Xbox One was going to come out on the 12th, 11, 12, 12 13. 13. I was like, it's the perfect. It's still happening. It's still happening. It's still happening. It's still So yeah, it seems like because I, 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 that, that that week has been like marketing gold for the past couple of years. First it was 11, 11, 11. Yep. Yeah. Then it was... Uh, it was 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 10, 11, 12. And now it's like... Yeah, yeah then 11, 11, 11. Yeah. 11, 12, 13. Yeah, they I don't love know. Dates like, like that. It'd, be, it'd be nice. The one thing is, um, someone pointed out that Watch Dogs comes out on the 19th, and that we'll launch, uh, Watch Dogs is a launch title for Xbox One. Mm. So right. it's kind of like, if it, so if the, the Xbox is coming out before the 19th, technically it wouldn't be a launch title. It'd be the launch window, yeah. but it wouldn't be a launch title. So that's kind of one of those things, like maybe Xbox One, they're going to announce like, oh, surprise, you're going to get Watch Dogs early on the Xbox One for like a week. But then Ubisoft has been very friendly towards the PlayStation. Like yeah, because they got the so. exclusive mission and stuff. Or yeah. missions, like an extra hour content. Yeah, they've got the, the content for uh, Assassin, or, uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed 4. So. Speaking yeah. of Watch Dogs. Speaking of oh. Watch Dogs. Uh, also, I'm looking at it right here. There's okay. also a story uh, that Ubisoft is working on a Watchdog movie. Mm-hmm. They partnered with Sony and New Regency. Yeah, they announced that. That's crazy. That, the game's it, not even out yet, and they're ready. Well, I mean, we had talked about it, I think, last week or the week before on the patch, about how they want Watch Dogs to be a multi-year franchise. Did they say, like, yeah. a decade-long franchise? Do they so, want it to be yearly, like Assassin's Creed? or no? They didn't specify a time okay. frame. But, I mean, it, it shows that they're committed to making this, the franchise mm-hmm. work. But... I don't know. I don't want. I don't ever want to see a video game movie. Yeah. I don't know that yeah. I've ever seen you one done well. You don't want to see well. the Gran Turismo movie. Also, it's like it's like the story is already told via the game. Yeah. Why do we and need you get to interact with it? And it's fun. Right. Well, like yeah, I don't want this passive experience mm-hmm. that's told by someone who doesn't like the game as much as I do. I mean, yeah. you can make that argument about books, though. I mean, really, it's the same sort of idea. It's not, I mean, books aren't clearly aren't as interactive as games are, but it's the same, I mean, people who are watching Game of Thrones read that 13 years ago, and like, oh, well, yeah. I know the story already, but well, it's like, I want to see I it. I feel like there's a difference there, and the difference is that directors and people who make movies read books. They yeah. don't all necessarily play yeah. video games. I guess so. so you lose key things that are important, yeah. like... I mean the fucking Mario Brothers movie. What the fuck did that have to do about a goddamn video game? That was like someone, like who's some stoner. The only like, thing I remember about that movie is them in the elevator and the Koopas just yeah, side to side. 
John yeah, Leguizamo. Yeah. John Le- with Dennis Hopper, Bob Hoskins. Like, how they get all those people? How they convince all those people to make a Mario Brothers movie? And also, uh, yeah, I mean, every, every video game movie I can think of is absolute garbage. Can you think of a single good video game movie? Uh, the Tomb Raider movies weren't terrible. Um, Elysium is a video game movie, basically. Like, if you watch that movie, it's basically a video game, like, is the style of it. Yeah, it's, but it's not a video I know, game I know, movie. I'm just saying. The Brandon um, saying Mortal Kombat 2. Oh, Brandon, Jesus, get out. Okay. Really? More, Mortal Kombat 1 was better than 2, but... The other way around, like, uh, games from movies tend to be better, like GoldenEye or the Chronicles of Riddick games or uh, oh, even the X-Men Wolverine game yeah. was way better than the X-Men Wolverine movie. Yeah. Not always, though. Not, not always, but of, I mean, there's like, a lot. There's more, yeah. Like, there's more examples of that, yeah. Yeah, you see a lot of that. Men in Black games stuff. <laughs> the game was God. terrible. Um, no, I, I think I'm. I'm ex- what, wasn't uh, Paul Verhoeven attached to a Bioshock he was, movie? He was. Yeah, and so I think that fell through. But that would have been awesome. Like that's that's a very would visual. I, I think so. Yeah. I think the idea of seeing that like you know with you know fifty to hundred million dollars behind it on screen that could be cool. Although I feel like he would miss the spirit. Yeah. Like, uh, it, like it wouldn't come across. I, if you if you I mean and, and again I don't want this passive experience after going through the active experience. Yeah. Although like if uh, I, I'm really sad that Neil Blomkamp didn't get to do the Halo movie because like that I'm, a, guy, that I'm a big fan of his. Yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, did you see Elysium? I haven't. No, I mean, I, I have no interest in seeing that movie based yeah. on the trailers, but simply because I know it's it's Neil Blomkamp directed. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, but, right? I mean, visually, it's it's awesome. The, the story is a little bit rough, but the I Elysium mean, looks like Halo. Yeah, it's basically. I mean, literally, it's a, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's a it's Halo. It's a Halo that floats out in space. So it's kind of like, hmm, all right. But hey, I would have loved to see his take on it. And I, I heard some cool things about it, but when, we're never going to see that. Now. I know you got that TV show, right, with Spielberg? Yeah, they haven't said much about that since they said they're going to do it. And yeah, the Xbox One. There, there's some. Uh, we got some games up on the screen. Oh. So we got the Hitman movie, Blood Rain. I actually like the Hitman Prin- movie. Oh, Prince of Persia wasn't terrible. There's a Far Cry movie. Think about it. That's Double the best tri- thing you could say about All a video game movie. Was movie. It wasn't terrible. I forgot about John claude Van Damme as Guile. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That was amazing. The, the all-American badass who's played that by game, a game from what, Street Fighter, or whatever. The movie, the game for like the Sega Saturn oh. and PlayStation was actually not bad. It was a really, really good really? fighting was game. It, yeah. Was it? Was it a Capcom? It, game? Yeah, it was a Capcom. Yeah, game. that was I where believe. they like motion. They didn't, they didn't motion capture, but they like did the. They like, like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Mortal Kombat One was like a photo, like a realistic photo where they animate that. John claude Van Damme Sonic booms are pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. We are seeing now. Now we're seeing the Killer Instincts coming back too. So yep. we're seeing some sort of a resurgence of these old classics. But uh, did you see what they're doing with Killer Instinct? Uh, yeah, it's a, you buy the character. Yeah, like yeah. a free. It's a it's a free to, a free to download game. Yeah, you, you get, get Jago, Jago for free, which is the ninja guy. And then you can buy other characters for five bucks a piece, or you can spend twenty dollars and just get all the characters. Okay. And then you can spend like forty dollars and get like some ultimate pack, which has like all the characters, some skins, and some like extra stages. So I guess it's stuff. like a Xbox Live Arcade game then. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, it's like an Xbox Live Arcade. You just game. download it. Yeah, it's a launch title for the Xbox One. So, so yeah, I have the the launch lineup here. So I see that. PlayStation 4 says they're going to have 33 titles at retail and PSN before the end of the year, it's not which bad. is pretty impressive. Like, what did the Wii U launch with? I think it was. Well, I would love to see the breakdown of, of like retail three games, AAA titles versus indie titles. I've got it right here. Okay, how, how many of those are actual like? A lot of indie okay, talk so, at the PSN. Yeah, a lot area. of indie. Assassin's totally. Creed 4, okay. Battlefield 4, okay. Call of Duty we have, Ghost. We have a list up on the oh, screen. If you want. Like Drive here. Club, FIFA 14, Peggle Killzone, 2. Shadowfall, Knack. Just Dance 2014, nice. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Madden 25, NBA 2K14, NBA Live, Need for Speed Rivals, Skylanders, Watch Dogs. It's 15. Oh, 15. But uh, of those, it sounds like maybe one or two is exclusive to the PlayStation platform, right? Uh, what's exclusive? Uh, Drive Club, Drive I believe. Club. Yeah. Uh, Killzone, Knack. Yeah. It's three. And I'm, I'm interested in, yeah, uh, yeah. in every one of those games. Killzone looks pretty. Uh, then they've got the guy some... guy that it always did. Yeah, they've got some more, uh, like... Uh, PSN stuff. Oh, Planet Side 2. Oh, nice. That's, That's right, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, they count that as a well, Minecraft. from PSN. So yeah. Minecraft. Oh, yeah, Minecraft is That was such like a brief thing. It yeah, was, it was like, like big announcement. There was three people with the uh, Creeper cardboard yeah. heads. They just walked by and they're like, all right, on to the next thing. It's like, yeah, it's like that has been such a That's huge weird. thing for, well, the, for Xbox. It's a big deal. Like, what else are you going to say? I like, guess at that point. Your yeah. audience, they know what they Minecraft, know what Minecraft is. is. It's like, it's got to be awesome to have this product like Minecraft where it's like, we're just going to put on another platform and make another $50 million. Yeah, yep. exactly. It's like, you're just, people who are going to buy it on the PS4 probably already have it on the PC. It's true. Probably, if they have an Xbox, probably already have it on the Xbox. It's like, 
do you're it. just going to buy it to have it. Yeah. Game. I'm, I'm just curious, like, what they're going to do as far as, like, you know, that's another one. Like, they're already having issues with the PC versus the Xbox version, like, trying to keep them up to date with the separate of each other. Throwing the PlayStation, is that going to be more in with the Xbox version than it is going to be Maybe the, the PC Maybe the PlayStation version? one will be what the Xbox one is at now. I guess so. That's, we'll probably update those simultaneously. Yeah. But even then, that's more work. That's more development costs. Well, like, well I assume it's... Uh, or do you think they have another developer just doing the PlayStation? They do. Well, they had another developer doing yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, the Xbox One. Yeah. So, so I wonder if 4J is <coughs> taking over the PlayStation One or if they have another developer is doing That's the, a really good question. I don't know. So, they didn't say anything about that. Because even then, it's going to be like a race. Like, who's got the better version? And it's also coming out on the PS3, isn't it? Yeah, and the Vita. Oh, and the Vita. Yeah, they announced it's like coming out. That's pretty cool for the Vita. A ton of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, th- it was funny. The, the, the PlayStation announcement, the PlayStation conference was, it, like, they are driving home the indie game thing. It's like, okay, like, that was a big hit on Microsoft when they came out. They're like, you know, they didn't really say much about indie support. And then PlayStation jumped on top of that. And it's like, indie game, indie game, indie game, indie game. And I get it. It looked like some of those games look pretty cool. But a lot for the most part, cool. it's like, they don't push the limits of what that console can do. Like those, a lot of those are just like flash games. Almost. A, a good ga- a good game doesn't have to push the limits of the console. Yeah, yeah, yeah but but I use Hotline Miami as an example. Hotline yeah, Miami, yeah, I think Walking like, Dead. Yeah, I, but I'm, I'm saying if you're launching a new console and you're trying to show off how badass it is, I would show Killzone. I would show you know more graphically intensive games as opposed to like you know games that will work. Well, on the, the Xbox console. One. I remember the indie game or indie developers had a huge thing. Like I think they need like a. A publisher or something like they couldn't publish on yeah, their own, yeah. and then Microsoft flipped on yeah, that recently. They, they've now said you so can't now do it. So PlayStation was like, "Oh man, yeah. you could do this the whole time and all that." Even they took that jab at Microsoft. I yeah, thought that was, was pretty, a little bizarre. Yeah. It was weird. I thought it was pretty funny. It was kind of childish. I thought. Yeah, well, they, they've hit the point because they did that during another press conference where they were kind of poking fun at Microsoft, mm. and this one is like, "Ah, we're gonna get them!" Ah, and it's like. It's one of these things where Sony's been number two, at least in the U.S., for a long time now, and now they've kind of taken this foothold, and they're taking a lead just based on buzz, and they're just spiking the football buzz, as much buzz, as they can. Buzz. It's mm-hmm. just like, calm down, show off. Well, I, I, I got to say, though, good for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see a market where, you know, where there's turbulence. Yeah, yeah, no, where you yeah. have some back and forth, because I think it, in the end that benefits gamers. Yeah. That benefits yeah, no, I'm excited for the four. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, the four. PlayStation 4. <laughs> um, I mean, it's going to drive competition back and forth, but you know, I, I like that we are going to see that. We're going to see innovation based on like who's going to stay on top. But yeah. that being said, I like it when someone's like, our console can do this. Look how badass this is, as opposed to being like, fuck those guys. Like, they can't do anything good. So it's like, you know, it's, it's become it's politics. Fun, yeah. and forth. So I'm looking yeah. at the Xbox One launch list, and of course all the third-party games are yeah, out on both, same. like AC4, Battlefield, Call of Duty. <clears throat> so it looks like the exclusives are Crimson Dragon, which I think was the one during the E3 presentation yeah. where the audio didn't work. That was like a, okay. that's a Connect game, I think. Uh, oh, was it? It was like Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, it looks exactly like style Panzer game. Dragoon. Rise is going to be in there. Um, Rise. Dead Rising Three. Dead Rising Excited. Three. Excited. Forza so Five. Uh, I, I Killer think. Instinct. Yep. Mm-hmm. Local Cycle. Local Cycle's an arcade game. Local. Yeah, yeah that's uh, Twisted Pixel. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Rise. Peggle Two. Zoo Tycoon. I Zoo Tycoon? <laughs> I assume that's our Killer app, it's over. Yeah, that's it. Might as well start working on PlayStation 5. Yeah. Well, do you remember the killer app for the Xbox 360 for a long time? Uh, no. When it launched? Yeah. Was there one? Uh, Perfect Dark Zero? If you say that, I'm going to fucking kick no, you off no, no. the patch. Geometry Wars. Oh, uh, remember point. that? Like, people were like, went nuts about Geometry Wars, and that was like the most simple thing ever. That was an afterthought by that programmer. So. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Those oh. are the uh, Project Gotham racing people. Bizarre creations. Yeah, because it was, it was no a guy, longer in business. It was a guy who was testing the um, the thumbsticks, and he so he just made a little simple game oh, to test the thumbsticks. Yeah, and move and rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then, like, in that ended up becoming a fun thing, and sort sort of like zombie mode in Call of Duty, where it's like one guy, like, oh, I'll give this a shot, see no, what I can do, and it becomes a, whole a thing. So. Story thing. That's pretty cool. I met that guy. Oh yeah, you were telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, like the, the zombies guy. Or the yeah, Wars guy? The, the 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 zombies guy. Yeah. we were doing a commercial. Mm-hmm. In World at War, so I was out at Treyarch. Okay. And then we were like waiting for some shit to render, and he's like, Here, while you're waiting for that, check this out. Like, I just made this. Yeah. That's crazy to <laughs> and me. And he's, he's, he's like, Yeah, we, we're thinking about putting it into the game. Do you think it's fun? I was like, Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> this is amazing. Imagine if that didn't, like, they just changed their mind. Like, nah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. At Whatever. this point, they could release a zombies game on its own. They basically do. do. <laughs> With all the DLC, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, every major DLC, they have, like, a new zombie mode, yep, too. A new zombie map. Like, Holy shit, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I'm excited, man. Like, I do. You, so you're thinking Xbox One's going to come out after the PS4? No, I'm thinking before. And before the PS4. I still think the uh, even though it doesn't make sense with the Watch Dogs lineup. Okay. Oh, you thought, I'm sorry. You thought PlayStation Four was going to be much right, later. Right. I still okay. think. Yeah, I thought PlayStation Four was going to be much later. I still think Xbox One is going to shoot for 11, 12, 13. Okay. When, is it, when are they going to announce it? Like you They're need to announce time, yeah. it I'm, soon. I mean, honestly, the the only thing we have left between launch or between now and launch is PAX. So and, and, and that is Seattle, which is where Microsoft is That's based. A good point. So. 
I mean, they've never had a major. They've never never, never had a major announcement at PAX like that. Yeah. Yeah, so huge. that would be huge for them. And I, I mean, I'll you know Pokemon we're going to be there. Pokemon's be XY is going to be playable at PAX Prime. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, that's right. For that. The three of us are all going to PAX. Yeah. Too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out while we're there. yeah. Let's Pax all play team. Pokemon together. Pokemon. Well, I will. Pokemans. Yeah. I'll play Pokemans. You play Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Bernie. Pokemans. <laughs> oh, did I tell you I bought a 3DS XL for uh, for Katie? So I yeah. now have a 3DS XL, and I don't so want to give it up. Yeah, her, hers is pink as well. So. Oh, dude, we match. Yeah, you nice. Match. So it's one of those things. Like I, I'm, I'm nervous though because I have it. I'm like, I don't want to start playing like New Cross or you know Animal Animal, Animal Crossing, New Leaf, and uh, and like Street Pass. I know because I'm going to be like, well, I have to get yeah. myself do, one too. Do you bring your 3DS in every day? I have since uh, last week. Really? So yeah. I, I only street pass you every now and then. I don't, yeah. I don't know what, like, if we're too far apart. I usually have it at my desk. I don't carry it around with me in my pocket. I don't, I don't either. I don't okay. get it at my desk. Yeah. Our desks are too far apart. Yeah. Like, What's I it? get Bernie, like, every day. But yeah, like, now, this, I, I had you today. Yeah. Now I'll just walk up to you or I'll come to the annex and find Jordan. And I'll just rub it on him. I'll be like, hey, street pass, <laughs> cool, thanks, bye. Yeah, Bernie tries to do that. I just pick, like, I keep mine on my backpack. I pick my yeah. backpack up and use it like a shield. And, like, <laughs> I don't put it on my desk. I'm like, yeah, you can just fuck my DS, but leave me alone. There you mm-hmm. go. Um, so one of the other announcements that I'm actually really excited about that came out of Gamescom was uh, uh, Fable Legends. That's yeah, a, yeah, a brand new Fable game. That's a four-player game, right? I don't know. It was like it, it looked like a it was like a game. CG trailer, but it, it, was made, CG, yeah. it made me think it was a four-player game, and it yeah. made me. F- it got, I, got, I got the feel of like a Borderlands Fable style game, where it's like. Well, the last Fable game that came out was uh, Fable Heroes, which is like the, right, the, the connect puppet. One. Yeah, no, no, the Connect one. The Connect one was uh, Fable: The Journey. Oh right. The arcade one was Fable Heroes. It was like a four-player beat 'em up kind of style, where all oh, the characters like puppets. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty fun. So, figure they do that, and then they move on to this. It could be another four-player game. It looks like we have a trailer if you're watching the live stream at home for uh, yeah. or still Fable. from the trailer. Oh, there yeah. we go. We have, we have oh, a left arm from the trailer. That's what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I was dis- disappointed that there wasn't any gameplay. It's just a, a CG trailer. But yeah. I mean, there was that nice thing at the end where you know they talk about the heroes. The whole trailer. Yeah. It's like or. Someone has to be the, the villain. villain. Yeah, it's like, oh, I would love to have like four player villains. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you could play online, like four player co op villains versus four player like yeah. heroes. Just the posse of assholes, good, basically. Yeah. yeah, man. I wonder if that would have be all multiplayer, or if there's, there's like a single player component to it. I guess we'll hmm. have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm really cool. excited to hear some more about that. Yeah, have you downloaded your copy of uh, Dead Rising Two yet for uh, Xbox? I already have it on disc. Still, it's might as well attach it to your to your card. I, I mean, guess. Like who knows? Maybe in the future, like if you have an Xbox Live Gold account on Xbox One, they'll they're start they'll start dropping the library from it's Xbox no backwards compatibility. No, I'm saying. Well, I mean, like what they're doing with PlayStation Four, where you can stream older games oh. and play. Like maybe they'll oh. do something like that, where it's like, okay, you bought this game on demand. <sighs> right. I should do it. Might as well. I mean, it's free. Might as well do it. You know. Oh, I have to go to the website. I have to click a link. Oh god. <laughs> turn my thing. Xbox on. forbid you type in 15 letters and then you know click twice. <laughs> that would be the worst thing. But uh, yeah, you're right. I, I should did, absolutely. Did they yeah. announce what the September games are? The free games? Yet? I don't I think know. so. Not yet. No. Okay. Um, so uh, so we talked about Fable Legends. The other thing that I really was excited about was that Titanfall demo. Dude, yeah. That they put on. So good. It looks really really good. I was not expecting. I don't. They, I guess they didn't show before. Did they show the free running, like jumping building the building? No, like the guy like wall I jumping and stuff too. Like that was so. pretty bad. I could be wrong though. Yeah, that was. So uh, you have a like a jetpack, I guess, because he double jumps. I assume as a jetpack, and then mm-hmm. you can like parkour off the walls and stuff. And jump off the wall. It was pretty crazy. It reminded me of like Unreal Tournament. You could jump off the walls and stuff like that. Except this is like seems more fast paced and crazy. Yeah, I, I love any time that someone jumps at the mech and the mech like grabs yeah. them and like sticks them in their chest. <laughs> the mech had like yeah. some kind of telekinesis thing where it stopped the bullets and shot it back at the other mech. That was pretty cool as well. Yeah. yeah. Why would you get out of the mech? <laughs> like you get it. You're a big target. I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, you'd be a big target. Like, also, there's gonna be places you can't get unless yeah. you're just on feet, on foot. So. Like you saw in that demo, the guy had like that giant rocket launcher. He like shoots the mech, yeah, and yeah, runs and hides behind the building, like launcher, reloads. Yeah. It's like yeah. anti. I like I like when he also put his mech in like uh, like standalone mode, where it was like a giant turret basically at that point. He's like you know stay. Yeah, you stay. can stay. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna over here, mm-hmm. and the giant mech takes care of stuff. Looks fun. That game I don't think has single player. I think it's all multiplayer. Yeah. But all that multiplayer. trailer kind of looked like single player. Yeah, yeah. But it they had, had like, like I, know, I think they said it was a multiplayer campaign. Oh, oh wow! I th- oh, okay. I thought that's what I read. I could be wrong. Let me. Oh, I'm gonna cool. look before okay. make sure I'm not talking it about seemed my ass. something like that. Like it seemed like a multiplayer thing, but there was a story element to it. Yeah, is, is Titanfall is coming to the PS4 as well, right? No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's PC one. and Xbox One. Wow, and 360, I think. That's a huge get. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, is it 360? I thought it I didn't, was 360. I didn't as well. think so. I don't know. It's Xbox One and PC for sure. Yeah, I could be making up a 360 thing. I'm making it up. Uh, <laughs> you're fooled you. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you. Psych. Psych. Yeah. Uh,
is Iron Galaxy. It's the same people who make Dive Kick. Really? Which just came out today. Which don't they just, just do fighting out. games? And they're, like they're, they're doing Borderlands 2 for the Vita. That's interesting. And Dive Kick oh, is like, fucking I, awesome. Yeah, Dive Kick is the great. The remote play for PlayStation 4 is pretty cool with the Vita. Just like, oh, uh, fucking whatever. Someone's used a TV. I'll just play on my Vita over here. Yeah, there, you know. there was a tweet I read where it's like, if a toilet doesn't rise from the stage when he's playing the Assassin's Creed Vita, it's like, that makes no sense, you know? It's like, like that's, that's totally what it is. Like, all right, games. I don't want to stop playing, but I'm going to go. You got well, some big I, games on the Vita. I think it's smart that at the same time that they show all this remote play stuff, a, that they do the, pace, pri the price drop yeah, yeah. on the Vita. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now it's $199. Yep. Oh, wait, was it before? Is it 300 or 250 I think it launched at 300 and I think it was 250 okay. See, I think, I think Sony is missing a huge opportunity here to throw in a Vita along with a PS4 and bump it up 100 bucks. So it's like, yeah. you know, Vita's $200, but say, like, okay, we'll do a $499 version of the PS4 that comes with a Vita, which is, which is basically like dropping a Kinect in with the Xbox, yeah. 3, or Xbox One. So it's kind of like, it's the same price as the Xbox One, but you get a Vita as yeah. well, which is like, oh, look that at that. That would us. be a cool bundle. I would definitely get when, that. When, yeah, you look, yeah. when you look on the shelf, if you have a PS4 bundle with a Vita for the same price as an Xbox One with bundle a with a Kinect, yeah. you're like, yeah. Yeah, it's I'm like, take it's like well, I'm going to yeah. unplug that and just yeah. leave it in the closet. I, I, I would definitely get more use out of the Vita. Yeah, exactly. So, Brandon's telling me, by the way, Titanfall is on the 360 as well. Oh, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> Double joke on you because you thought I was lying the first time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, the, the Vita stuff, it's, it's cool, but there's so many handheld things now. It's like, like, I end up playing, I've got my iPad, I've got my iPhone, I've got a, you know, 3DS now, and it's like, I have so many. So many handhelds. Yeah, and it's like, I like my phone. Like, can my I hold phone. all these handhelds? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I would use my Vita for anything other than remote play. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, um, like, I use my phone now, you know, the majority of the time, but, like, I use my iPad at home. I don't use my laptop at home anymore. Like, used to, I, you know, visit websites while yeah. on my couch. I use my iPad, and it's great. It's perfect. I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies, too, which have you played that, by the way? No. It's awesome. I'm excited for it. And it's for free. It. And I, I, I totally forgot it came out. Yeah, yeah, people are like, well, people are losing their minds because there's micro microtransactions associated with it, mm -hmm. and it drives me fucking in -app crazy. In-app purchases. Because it's like, oh, it's like, oh, it's EA, and it has, you know, in-app purchases. Well, and do you need it? No, oh. that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm two-thirds through the game, and I haven't even gotten close to wanting to buy something. Hmm. And it's just one of those things where, it's, you know, if you want, you can spend money to advance yourself, or you can just play through the game Well, like that's the normally. same thing with Dead Space 3, right? Like, people flipped out over yeah, that when yeah, you didn't need like, to do it yeah, at all. You absolutely don't have to do it. And, like, oh. it drives me crazy when people just, you know, react to stuff without really having the full story behind it, or without trying it themselves. Like, yeah. oh, well, you know, it's EA, so, oh, my God, they like making money. Fuck those guys. And it's like, I don't know. It drives me nuts. It's, I, like, I don't... Uh, I don't know as much about the the controversy. Yeah. But like, I don't understand if you get a free game, why people would complain. Like, maybe if there's an unbalancing aspect to it. Yeah. Like but, if it's required. But it's single player. It's, yeah, but yeah. It's, if it's single player. Yeah, it's like you know, it's one of those things where um, if you want to spend, if you want to spend money to basically free up your time, you can, or you can just play the game and just like grind through it and get all the stuff. And it's I just, I, I have no issue with it. But, you know, people Some people don't like just like to find a reason to be mad. Yeah, I mean, like, the original Plants vs. Zombies was, like, 20 bucks or 10 bucks or something uh, like that. I think that. it was 20 So, if, like, you could spend 10 bucks in that game. It was $10 get, on the Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could spend $10 and get a lot of yeah. stuff, or you yeah. could just play it for free. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's free. Great free game. To, the free-to-play model is very is interesting, and it's well, still kind of... Yeah, I mean, you People get, know how to interact You with get it. some good stuff out of it, and, you know, you can at least... If nothing else, you can at least try a game, and if you don't like it, you can move on. No, no. No money lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I want to talk about this for a second. Oh, yeah, okay, okay yeah. I'm going to play uh, some more. So I want to remind everyone that this episode of The Patch is brought to you by Smite, which is uh, awesome. a mobile game. You all have done a couple of Let's Plays we did. in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did a they play. actually just announced, it just came out of embargo, that uh, we can show some of the gameplay if you guys want to cut to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just came out of embargo that um, uh, not, they're going to cool. be releasing in China. Really? Oh, nice. I guess Tencent, who is uh, like the biggest publisher in China, mm -hmm. like the fourth biggest gaming company in the world, yeah. uh, is doing the, uh, the distribution out there. Oh. So like literally the embargo just went off like right when we started the patch, like they, <laughs> just, they just announced uh, this info. China. So um, it's going to be available there. And I think here in the US, they have over 2 million registered players. Uh, wow. Since June of last year. Yeah, this game is fun as hell. And it looks like we got your old your footage going right now. Oh, okay. But you can um, see, like, I, I had never played it, but when yeah. they, uh, they were going to do a sponsorship for the patch, I decided to start playing it. Uh, I'm normally not that great at mobile games. I'm terrible at them, but there's I... something about this camera angle, the way you can see from. Yeah. Uh, like, like behind sort you. Of, like That's behind why I kind of didn't like League of Legends, because it's like a top down yeah, view. Yeah, it's like an RTS style view in yeah. League of Legends. And, yeah, and it's, 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 it's similar. Well, there's different game types. Like my yeah, favorite yeah. one's the arena, where it's like five gods versus five gods. Yeah, it's like a costume yeah. kind of thing, yeah. And you just fight each other. But you can do like traditional MOBA stu style stuff where there's like lanes. Yeah. You're trying to get to like the there's enemy the, base. Uh, and there's the towers and then the phoenixes yeah, and then the mode. Minotaur. 
Yeah, the, I mean, it's, this game is one of those games that, you know, we did a let's play on it, and, and it was it, it took a little bit of playing and kind of getting used to, but once we did it, we all had a lot of fun playing. So much yeah, so, it's like, let's the, keep we, we did one this. let's play. It was two, two, right? Two games? Yeah, we did The two, second yeah. game was pretty intense at the end. Yeah, yeah. It was like, the we're usually like, hey, loud and crazy, and then, like, at the end, we're like, <laughs> yeah, right. Michael, they're over there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like really, like strategic right, and strike stuff. left, strike left. Yeah, I looked. I, lo I looked out. Like the first game I played, I jumped in. It was an arena game, and I was on a good team, and we won. So I was like, "Oh, I'm really good at this yeah. game. Like, I want to keep playing." I still yeah. play with some people from time to time, so it's a blast. Yeah, the uh, the Adams in tech, uh, Gilby and and Adam, uh, they they play a lot. And it's one of those things where if you build up a team where everyone sort of has different sort of roles, that game, it can be fun as hell. And like, again, it's another free game. Yep. Yeah, it's free to play as well. It's one of those things where you can, you know, play up and unlock characters yeah, over you time. Can buy or, you can, or you can buy them. It's yeah. like whatever the currency is with real money and get new characters yeah, like and costumes gyms. and stuff. Or as you win. Or yeah, you oh, yeah, game, yeah. You get, and I think like, they, have, they have an ultimate god pack for like 40 bucks. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, 40 bucks, you unlock all the current gods and, and all the future yeah, gods all future, that they'll yeah. ever So that's basically like buying the game at retail. Like that's that's what it is. And so, and then they update like crazy. Like since I've been playing, they've added like Five new gods, and uh, it's it's just fun, man. It's just like it's simple because you can jump in. A game lasts about fifteen to twenty minutes, and it's just all right, cool and fun. Well, the thing I liked most, and the, no one, I, I might be the only person who like enjoys this, but when you click on the different game types, you can read the description on the right. Yeah, yeah. it says a typical game lasts this many yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh sweet, like, yeah. <laughs> like I've got I've got you know fifteen minutes to spare. What can I jump into? Arena, yeah. great. Yeah. I've got I've got about half an hour great, right there. Yeah. But I mean, the game is awesome, and like, I mean, we had a lot of fun with it. And it's it's high res, uh, high res studio, it. and it's funny because we did the let's play. Uh, we did uh, uh, two uh, two person or two game let's play. And I think we won the first one, and the you guys won, won, then, yeah, the and then the lads won. lads won the second one. And so at RTX, they had a booth. And we actually played sort of the the, the best of three game there yeah. at RTX. So we were surrounded by like 200, 300 people while playing and screaming at each other and stuff. And it was, it was awesome. a lot of fun. And the gents took that one. Yeah, so. they did. And it's funny because like Jeff, it was funny. I've never seen him do this. But before we started, Jeff pulled me and Ryan aside. And he was like, I really want to win this thing, guys. Like, what are we going to do? And we actually, we talked strategy before we started playing. And so um, and we went through we it. We didn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, it shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I mean, it, it's it's a blast, and it's again free to play, and I highly, highly recommend it. It's it's yeah, one of those games. Check like, it out, free yeah. mobile game. Yeah, it's it's a PC mobile, game too. So. Yeah, it's like a four gig download, I think. Yeah, and they and they patch it constantly, so yeah, go get it. Yeah, tons of fun. Go. Indeed. All right, so like I don't know. So what what game, what launch game are you most looking forward to, Gus, for for the next gen? Hold on, let stuff? me look. Let me look at my Dead uh, Rising Three. Dead oh, Rising Three. You you are a huge Dead Rising. Yeah, fan. it's one of my favorite what, series. What got you into it? Just, were you in Dead Rising One from? Yeah, the start? I, I like Dead Rising One, and I just kind of hooked me from there. And I've just been playing all. All of them are done. All of them completed yeah. achievement wise. So I'm excited for the new one. I was afraid that it was going to be like super serious and like I don't know. From the trailer we saw at E3 when we went to the <laughs> press conference, it's like, well, yeah. this is Dead Rising, but it looks like all gray and like serious and then as more videos come out it's like oh he's in a shark outfit with a beach ball throwing it at Tom. <laughs> it's like alright don't need to worry about that exactly so I'm really excited for yeah, it co and co-op is great in that game yeah yeah is there, have they announced co-op in Dead Rising 3 yet? Uh, not a f or maybe they have officially but I remember I'm like, okay. why, why would you pull that? yeah yeah I guess so I think well, the one I'm actually most excited about is Watch Dogs yeah Watch Dogs is a good dude that, that, like I'm looking through a list do you see both. the multiplayer mode for Watch Dogs? I don't know. I, I don't think they've announced that. Oh wait, no, didn't they with the the the, the tablet integration? They announced that at E3, right? Where someone could do yeah. like hacking and stuff mm -hmm. and help you out. And yeah, like yeah. let you know where stuff's happening. I think so. Well, I'm, I'm curious. I about think the, it's a competitive mode too. Yeah, I'm curious about the really? multiplayer yeah. stuff in Watch Dogs, because like in that trailer, the one they showed it at. Um, at uh, E3 this year, they showed like another scene from Watch Dogs, a guy playing a level, yeah. and then at the end, like he jumps on top of a train, and then it had another guy spotting for him, and yeah. then like the camera pulled way out, and there's like a bunch of dots all over the city, and it's like. Wait, what? And they yeah. haven't really said anything about multiplayer yet. So, and we're—I mean—we're only two months out from that. So, we got to start talking. I feel like we're in a weird cycle right now, where we're getting really close to all these launches and the console yeah. launch, and not a ton of info is available. I mean, we're Xbox, so One's, for a Xbox lot of One still doesn't have a fucking release date. Yeah. Um, I feel like normally this is the kind of stuff that, you know, six months out they begin yeah. the marketing for and get it like going. driving the message, plant the seed. Yeah. And well, we're still, we're still. I don't know, sitting in the dark on some of these things. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. Like, I, I, I'm sure, you know, people get paid a whole lot of money to do this kind of stuff, so I'm sure they're, they're much better off. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, dude, this is going to be an awesome, <laughs> awesome fall. Dude, like, GTA I, 5 is in less than a month. Oh, God. I've, that multiplayer trailer. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we realize now that we have to film something at the end of September that's going to take, like, a week away from us while we could be playing GTA 5, and I'm just, like, super pissed <laughs> off at that. Because yeah. it's like, GTA 5 comes out, then it's like, then, then we play it for a week, and then we have to sit out for that's a week. That's going to be, like, like, our life. Yeah, GTA September 5. 17th. The more
console. Yeah, the uh, they had that uh, multiplayer trailer that came that out was was it, last oh week God. or the week before. I, I just want I want I, I want to buy an apartment and just deck it out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I really you know I, I've been I think I've said pretty clearly I'm not a big GTA fan. I, yeah. I finished GTA three. I finished Vice City. I, yeah, those are the two I finished. Yeah, I oh, played in four. I played. I, finished I played four. four a couple hours you in, but it was. It, I played a couple hours of it, yeah. but it was I don't know something about it. It was too serious, too open ended. I never yeah. really it never really hooked me. Plus, huh. it didn't help. Like, I got really sick for like a week oh, okay. when I started playing it. Oh, so okay. then when I got better again, it was like a psychological. Yeah. Thing. It was like, oh, I, I was sick when I was playing that <laughs> yeah. game. I don't play it again. Yeah. But that multiplayer trailer for GTA Five got me so excited to play that game again. It's yeah. insane all the stuff. Like, yeah, it looks like there's like some kind of multiplayer story because in the trailer, in the multiplayer trailer, it shows you like in like a cutscene with like a random dude. Hmm. And I don't know. Oh, if he's, it's like, like, he's like welcome to the city. Or yeah, something welcome like to that. the city. I'm not sure if it's like an introduction trailer yeah. or something like that. But like there was an achievement of things like get off the plane or something. So yeah. it's not. I mean, like it's kind of funny trying to piece together these stories because Rockstar has always been really good about keeping that stuff close to the chest. Like mm -hmm. they don't announce any plot details, really even like voice actors or anything, until right when the game's coming out. So that's uh, I'm excited for this one. It kind of sucks, but it's uh, also good that the multiplayer comes out two weeks later. Yeah. For GTA, because in those two weeks, it's like I'm gonna run through the story because it's going to be good and to avoid spoilers, and I'll be done with that, and the multiplayer comes out, and then there goes the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. yeah. And then, then, like, you know, a month after that, the new consoles come out. So yeah. it's just like... And they still haven't announced GTA V on the new console. I don't think well, they're, they're going they're, to. Like, well, I, th I agree with Bernie. Yeah. They you, wouldn't you, do you, it until after yeah. they get all the sales on this current generation. I guess yeah. so. But I, I don't know. Do you think they are going to port it? Or they have it ready, or they're gonna make it for the new console. I, I bet it's not a launch title. I bet yeah. they wait until like a next, year after. Really? Wow. Yeah, so to, next to, fall to like really milk the existing user base. Yeah. Uh, of or do consoles. you think they make like all the DLC or whatever for the 360, and then like the ultimate complete collection right. comes out for the one and the yeah. PS4? Yeah. Maybe not a year, a year, but like maybe next May. Yeah. We'll see it on the one and the PS4. That makes sense. Fuck it. I'll buy it again. Yeah. Um, well, they're also doing these trade-up programs, too. Have you noticed that? Like, yeah. So Sony came out and said they're going to do something, but Microsoft has come out and said, if you buy a game for the 360, you can trade it in, and for 10 bucks more, get an Xbox One version of that game. I think Sony said the same thing. Yeah, well, they said they, they didn't announce how much it was going to be. They, 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 they came out and said they'll, they said they'll have more details later, but they're going to do I a trade-in program. The same thing. It'll be the same thing. Yeah. Like, now that Microsoft has set that price point, you can't, I can't imagine Sony's going to charge more. So. I mean, that's pretty cool from an achievement standpoint. For me, anyway, it's like... They're two different lists yeah, on the yeah, yeah. 360 and the one, so it's like, I finished Call of Duty Ghost, trade it in for, or <laughs> exchange it for ten dollars, get yeah. the game for the one, and then do it again. Are you excited about the uh, the Twitch streaming through Xbox One and uh, I think PlayStation Four also have? Yeah, it? yeah, they're both doing it. Mm -hmm. It'd be, it'd be yeah. pretty interesting. I mean, streaming is very very popular, <laughs> and if it's that easy and streamlined on the one, I'll be like, yeah, I'll try it. I'm curious if uh, if Twitch's server <laughs> is going to be able to handle this influx of users. Like, it's going to be. Better hope gonna, so. I mean, like, I mean, there's a there's a shitload of streamers now, but the idea of like every new console that comes out. I mean, you're looking at hundreds of thousands. Yeah, I mean, of Sony, millions. Sony said that worldwide they've already had a, over a million. In pre orders, and I have to imagine Xbox is either close or at that. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, I, I'm not honest, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give a dissenting opinion here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not excited about it. No, uh, most video game streaming that I watch is boring. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, well, that's why you put the face cam in there. Yeah, yeah. so you can see me. I don't, I don't understand it. The only thing I mainly watch is uh, competitive, like fighting tournaments, fighting game tournaments. And uh, when people do speed runs, I watch it because I find that stuff interesting. But no. as far as like somebody's like, man, I got Assassin's Creed 4, watch me play, I'm like. No, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, not into it. But then you have people like Monty, who like he doesn't have time to play games, so he's, he just runs a stream up and just watches someone play through it. So. Yeah, actually, Carrie told me about that. He does that while he's working. He'll have a let's play of a game that either he's played or he wants to play and he can't, and he'll just have it yeah. going. So it's like it's like he's playing the game. So. Just sleep less. <laughs> also <laughs> true. I don't think the animators sleep at all right now, yeah. so uh, you don't have to worry about that. But, but they yeah. should sleep less. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, sleep. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the streaming stuff is interesting, but it's like I don't know. Like it's. It's we we've hit this this point in society where it's like everyone wants to be on camera in some form or fashion. So it's like this is just another avenue yeah. for people to get themselves yeah. out. I think it's just going to clutter up the you know clutter up the yeah, tubes. Well, my, that, and that's kind of my concern is once everyone can stream off the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's like it's harder to find the good few stuff. people who are good. Yeah, because right? yeah. it's just find like the quality. Tons of crap. Yeah. I guess I guess it's like YouTube. Hopefully yeah. the people who are good at it will rise to the top yeah. and. They'll become known for it. Yeah, I wonder. If there, I wonder how there's going to be. Is there going to be like a streaming hub or something where it's like, if I want, I can go to my Xbox One, like an app or something, or PlayStation Four, and be like, here are people currently streaming. And well, like they already have a Twitch app on the 360. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm assuming there's something like that. Well, must hopefully carry the over. game, the individual games, will have that integration where you put yeah. the game in, That's you launch true. it. I know they have like that on the website item. where it's like, here are the games being streamed. You click on the game, and it'll be like, uh, the most like the popular one is first. Like it goes by viewers. Yeah. So well, hopefully, like you put Watch Dogs in. 
on the PS4, Xbox yeah. One, it's like, here are other people streaming, and here's the most popular yeah. one. Yeah. Hmm. And you can do it like that. I'm sure. That Hopefully. Will. Hopefully. No, I don't know. So maybe not that one since it's like 360. Yeah, no. that's, you know. defi that's definitely one of like the, the one of the big sort of next gen features is the streaming stuff. I think, but even like that and like also the recording. Like we still haven't heard much about like the local DVR stuff they've done in, in the Xbox One and PS4. Like we saw a little bit of that at the PlayStation 4 show yesterday. But um, I, I, like, I, I don't know how robust that's going to be, and if it's going to be. I think if somebody's serious about recording, they're going to get like actual equipment, yeah. like a Black Magic or an Elgato or something yeah, like that. Yeah, this is this is definitely like the, the simplest way to do Unless this kind of stuff. It's like super spectacular on the consoles, which you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. No. Uh, but my, we, my, we my big fear with that. external capture devices now with these new consoles is that with DRM, that it's yeah. going to be. It's going to disable the ability to capture. Oh, yeah. Well, like we said, Microsoft has come out and said it's going to be exactly like the 360, but then the 360s act differently depending on which one you have. Like the old 360, you can capture no problem, but the new, the C, like the small one. The one that, that looks the, like the one? Yeah, the one they just released, you can't capture through it. It runs. Okay. No, you can't. Yeah, it, 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 I just did a Let's Play the other day with it. I, I did a Let's Play with four of we them. Had, we had issues at RTX about that. That's why we didn't have them on the main stage, because they had HTCP running through constantly. Center stage. Center stage. Uh, right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the, when, uh, when uh, I set up my environment the other day, I used four of them. Really? And no problem at all. Hmm. Were you, were you capturing El Gato? Or? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. Well, if, well that's good then. If, if it's working, then that means the, three, the new the Xbox One should work fine. Yeah. Okay. So. Weird. All right, we'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, does the PlayStation Four have that? Because I know PlayStation Three has that. Uh, I'm, I'm Play guessing it'll probably be the same. Yeah, PS Three you can capture off component, but you, you can't, can't do HDMI. You can't do HDMI. Yeah, that's weird because the PlayStation Three debug kit you can disable that. Yeah, well, yeah. it's just like an option. Yeah, it's just like yeah. an option. It's like, <sighs> damn it. <laughs> yeah, we we actually went out to uh, EA one time to go check out Battlefield Three stuff, and we were playing on. Uh, yeah, it was a final deal suit. Yeah, we were playing on the PS Four or the P uh, PS Three. Excuse me. And uh, we get there with our Alcato, and it's like, oh yeah, you can't capture through HDMI. Shit! And then like one of the other journalists. Shout out to the that journalist guy. I think guy. it was like Cnanners or somebody. I forget who it was. Somebody who knew Cnanners. But he's uh, like, he's, yeah, just turn that off. I'm like, that's an option. <laughs> yeah. So we like popped up to the debug menu. It's like, oh, oh, there you go. That's. I wish we could do that on retails, yep. but alas, you cannot. So, anyway, yeah, yeah we uh, we have we have uh, a PS3 debug here. And yeah. I, I, so I've I've seen that option. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's super convenient, but. One of the other things, uh, did you ever play XCOM Enemy Unknown? I did. I, I watched you play it and I watched Jack play it for a little bit. Did you hear that they announced uh, expansion for it? No. Uh, XCOM Enemy Within. Whoa, it's, what? It's coming out uh, this fall. When is it? Uh, November 12th. Enemy Within? Yeah. That sounds uh, cool. Is it not versus aliens versus like humans and stuff? I or? guess it's, uh, it's complicated. There's like a new <laughs> element. Is that the available. tagline? Okay. It's so, complicated. Well, basically, you can incorporate alien technology into humans. Whoa. So it's like you're taking the alien stuff and integrating with humans. And oh, that's kind of cool. I still got to beat that. I hit that one point where I couldn't figure out how to advance. Like, I got the PSYOP guy, and I couldn't figure out how to get past. So I think I'm, like, right at the end, but I just haven't gotten there yet. So I need to go back and that's finish that. I, I also, don't understand how people get 95% of the way done with something. Well, you hit a wall. That's, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Or people get 95% of the way and just, like, stop for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah. And it's just like, for example, I know someone that's at the end of the first episode of The Walking Dead. The free one, yeah. and uh, they just stopped. I'm like, you're literally five minutes away. Just finish the <laughs> damn game. Like it bothers me. Well, that you also, know who you are. I've also uh, I've lost my damn gamer tag. Like it vanished from the office. So I've lost my save game in that now too. Your, so oh, sucks. It sucks. Yeah. So I. Uh. Well, well, the the good thing about that is, I believe that enemy within. And maybe it's not a good thing for you. I I believe that it can act as a campaign replacement. Oh, okay. Where all of the new stuff gets put into the existing campaign. Oh, okay. And so you can replay it, but it's like it's fresh and it's new. Well, that's interesting. Let me reread this article and make sure I'm not talking Did out you, my ass. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. Did you play the uh, the new XCOM game that came out, the Bureau? No, or it's not getting great reviews, oh, really? so I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, we have a copy of it, we but we have, we've been so busy with so uh, Payday. Enemy stuff. Within takes place in the confines of Enemy Unknown, so it's the same game with more stuff. Okay. That descriptive noun includes new soldier abilities, earned through alien research, so gene mods, and mechs. All right. Uh, even That's more awesome. commonly known as awesome mechanical exoskeletons that include flamethrowers and a grenade launcher. So is there more missions, or is it just the main game with more stuff? Right. It's more, okay. It seems to me like yeah. it's the main game with more stuff. Uh, they put a launch trailer out for it, I guess. Oh, awesome. Uh, hmm. Or not a launch trailer, but a trailer out for it. Yeah. You guys put the hell out of that game. You guys I like fucking it. love that game. So I'm... I'm Excited to see that there's more of that game to play. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then I want to go back and play it. Like I was really hoping that the bureau would be like my XCOM fix for a while. Yeah. But the reviews have been so mediocre. Yeah. It's weird that they go from like a top-down strategy game to like a third-person. Well, it's shooter. also different developers too oh, okay. working on it. So. But yeah. isn't XCOM known primarily as that kind of yeah, game? Yeah. The so top-down. Yeah. It's 
crazy that they like changed the genre. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the weird thing to me is. XCOM fans are used to that format. Yeah. So the Bureau is a departure for them. Mm -hmm. People who are like first person shooter, third person yeah. action games like that aren't necessarily yeah, the other way. fans of XCOM. So it's like there's no like intersection of those groups. Like who well, are I mean, Halo to? was a first person shooter and then was an RTS and now it's a twin stick shooter and all of them seem to be doing well. So <laughs> maybe that's just a rare instance. Right, maybe you shot me down. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> my shooting. It's nice. my guns, my finger pistols. You can't wait to see that animated GIF. Yeah, great. <laughs> Man, yeah, that that uh, enemy unknown caught me off guard. Like I, like we talked about this forever ago, but I played a game for the Xbox One called Gladius, which is basically the same sort of idea, like a turn-based thing. And uh, I just got I got hooked into XCOM. I was like, holy shit! And like you build up a character, like I built up a sniper yeah. that I would literally just like walk him out, and he'd just stand there the whole time. Because there's abilities where you can use someone else's view, and if you can, if they can see them, then you can see them, no matter where oh, you are on cool. the map. So I had a sniper who was just built up like super powered, and I would just send a scout forward, and he'd spot people, and he just like my sniper back there would just murder everyone. I feel like I would like that game just because I like Fire Emblem on the DS and the Game Boy and stuff. No. Yeah, and this Game Boy is... Advance and stuff. And this seems more hardcore, mind right. you, but I mean like the permadeath and stuff I'm used to from Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's 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 funny you say that. I played Fire Emblem. Uh, I Awakenings, Fire, the 3DS one. Yeah, right? I played yeah. Awakenings. Yeah. I I thought it was okay. Yeah. I, but it's I did the thing you hate. I literally got up to the last mission and put it down and never. Played I'm at the last mission too. <laughs> I got destroyed like 15 times, and I'm like, I'm gonna put this away, yeah, and I just too. haven't got back to it. I, I I got destroyed like five times. I'm not like, sure if I need to grind more. I need to not suck, but I'm on the final mission. I just. Yeah, I never finished it. Nope. Hmm. Um, so I got a couple other things here. All right, right. Um, rattle them off. So the Halo Four Champions bundle came out. Oh, yeah. you, you were the and I played that last night. That was a lot of fun. Ricochet is a blast. Yeah, so it's got the new game mode, yeah. Ricochet, which is like a sports game. Yeah. So the, like, the actual like Spartan armor is like a football helmet. It has like shoulder pads. And I stuff love like seeing that, that fucking yeah, football it's, helmet. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. It's a, uh, it plays like, like a more fast-paced assault, and that's not a bad thing at all. I think the only map is the Pit remake. Whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Yeah, yeah. About, uh, Pitfall. Uh, Pitfall. Yeah, we played probably like six or seven games of that, and it was a blast every time. Yeah, we so played. It's it. a lot like, it reminds me a lot of Griff Ball, except you can pass. Like, passing is built into yeah. the game. Passing's a and big thing, and throwing. You can also throw it and shoot, basically shoot it into yeah. the. Uh, it's also, I guess, ball. like Griff Ball with guns as well. Yeah, we so. played it on stage right. at RTX, and uh, like during the Microsoft, or the 343 panel. And uh, whoever, like the team I was on, it was like uh, it was like us, like all like the Rich Teeth guys versus like the developers, and I was like, Jesus Christ, we just got oh, annihilated. Yeah, I, I, I was on the winning team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, like you guys just That's annihilated right. us, oh. but I took one shot at the goal, and it, it just barely sailed over, and that was the only shot we had on goal. And I was like, God yeah, damn. I thought throwing it in would be pretty well, easy, just, well, especially with the pit, because you throw it in the base, and it's kind of just like well, it's like it's like a like a little square, but yeah, the, like the goal square. is the, at the front, and so yeah. the, like to hit it, you have to like arc it right, yeah, or you can throw it and bounce it off the back. Yeah, I would yeah. just assume it doesn't have a lot of bounce. It rolls, but like yeah. usually if it hits a wall, it's like a dead stop. Like there are a lot of times you throw it, and it's like in like like if this is the thing, it's like right here, like really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like a combination, like the the ball is like a it's skull and the bomb kinda, together. It was like I know it's like it's like some kind of sphere, and in the middle of the sphere, it's like glowing. I don't know. It's, it's more or less a ball hmm. bomb thing, but it, I mean, it looks it looks awesome, and you know, it's more. Yeah, also in that bump and that uh, champions bundle, you have new like armor and skins for your or camos for your guns and like new stances and stuff. It comes with a lot of stuff. I think yeah, it's only so 800 Microsoft points. It's got yeah, 800 points. It's got the Ricochet game modes, the sports themed armor. Yeah, the Infinity armor pack. New maps as well. Yeah. Uh, the steel gun pack, which is the yeah like the, the camo, camo stuff, stuff we talked about. So yeah, 800 yeah. points. Yeah. Not a bad for ten dollars. So I guess yeah, the, the the champions bundle is all of that, and it's all those three different DLC packs. Yeah, you can buy them separately, but just we said you said with eight hundred points. Are, are, isn't a Microsoft jump over to the real pricing now, or are points still a thing? I think points are still a thing. I know in the new the dashboard update, not out yet. Yeah, it's not oh, that's right, the beta is out. Yeah, I think some people out, have yeah. the beta, but the, the actual thing isn't mm -hmm. out yet. That'll be launching this fall at some point, right? Is that? Do you think that's the last DLC for Halo? Because right now, it, it to get max gamer score in Halo Four, it's two thousand. Really? Like, is that a cap? I think it is. Mm -hmm. I thought like Zen Pinball or something had like 25. That was an arcade game though. Like yeah. Pinball FX2. Yeah, they yeah, keep yeah. adding tables. But even that's, I don't think it's at 2000 yet. I could be wrong. Huh. I hadn't but, thought about it that way. That's a, that's an interesting point. But I mean, that's you know, a whole year's worth of DLC out of Halo 4. So it's not, yeah. not a bad thing. We'll see. I mean, then there's not going to be, well, I guess the Halo game this year is Spartan, uh, Assault. Spartan Assault. So they're not doing a console Halo, Halo game this year, which is interesting. They, well, they haven't done this in a while. They haven't jumped a year in a long time. Yeah, yeah they have. When? Not since Halo 3. So there was three ODST wars. No, or, they or did. Or was it wars after three? No, no, they did. They did. I think they did wars three ODST uh, C anniversary four. Yeah. What about wait Reach? 
Oh shit, Reach is in there somewhere. Throw, okay, yeah, so throw Reach in there as well. But it's been every what, what, single year they've had a major release. So, okay, so what are we in now? We're 2013. 2012 was four. What was yeah. 2011? 2011 anniversary. was CE anniversary. Oh, right. Yeah. Damn. And then, then it was Reach. Then, then Reach was before that. And then before that. It was ODST? Yes. Yeah, so Halo ODST. 3, ODST, and, uh, and Reach. Halo Wars. I don't know what order they came Damn. in. Yeah, I think, I think did Halo Wars come out before 3? I don't I know. I think so. Obviously, yeah. ODST is at the end of that. Oh. Three Wars ODST Reach. Hey, there you go. All hey. right. Well, there you go. So uh, thank you, voice in your ear. Yeah. So but yeah. So, every so year for the past yeah. Six so this years. is the first year they've just they've skipped a year as far as like. Granted, there first is a game, but it's only for Windows Eight tablets. Yeah. I think mm. or Windows Eight devices. So and, and yeah. And then Halo Five will be coming out for the the one new at Halo. some point. Oh yeah, the, the next Halo, whatever it's called, the next chapter the, in the, the Halo Wars saga. Halo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So um, over the weekend. Like on Friday, I was uh, I was sitting at home, and I was thinking about how I didn't have any games I was going to play. So I was like, I'm not going to play games this weekend. I'm just going to like hang out at home, yeah. watch some movies. Then uh, a friend of mine sent me an invite for the Hearthstone beta, which is the new Blizzard game. What's the name Whoa, of the what? other card game? Scrolls. That's Scrolls from. That's Scrolls Mojang. Scrolls Mojang. Okay. Yeah. So Hearth- oh, okay. Hearthstone's a card game. Yes. Okay. It's so like World of Magic: The Gathering game. set in Warcraft. Whoa. Okay, and it's uh, card, it's card based. Yeah, played it nonstop really? all really? fucking weekend. I was like, he like I got the invite, and I was like, this isn't my kind of game. I'm not gonna play it. I don't know. I played one game. It's like, oh, that's that's fun. Played another <laughs> game. Like, oh, no, this is a lot of fun. And there's like nonstop. Oh, there it is. So you can see, uh, wow, you get like the different cards, and they attack each other. And <laughs> you actually smack them. Yeah, and they come out. Um, and then there's like, as you win games, you get more cards, or you get points you can redeem for like packs of cards. Okay. And there's different rarities, and it uses like the same color scheme. It's like World of Warcraft. This is all like strictly online, right? Like, there's no physical right. version of this. No, there's no physical. Not so yet, at least. Are trading card games, or uh, like online trading card games, like big? Because scrolls and now this pretty close to each other, and people seem to like both of them. That just seems weird. like it. My, well, so my big fear was, and there was a Penny Arcade comic about it today. Yeah. Is that in order to get cards, they could do something like. In World of Warcraft, you have to beat this boss, uh, and then it ties uh, yeah. to your Balanet account and unlocks the card in mm. uh, in Hearthstone. Like, that would be a huge fucking. That would be a big deal for any well, game. Well, there would have to be another yeah. way to get that card, right? Like, or maybe you, not. May, you buy it microtransaction because I think oh, right, Hearthstone's right, right, going right, to be yeah. free, uh, a free game, mm-hmm. and because even in in the beta, you can spend money to buy packs of cards if you don't have the appropriate number of wins. Here's hoping points. if you spend money in the beta, all that stuff transfers over to the, the actual yeah, it game. It doesn't. There's like big Why disclaimers. Why would you do that? There's big disclaimers that say... There's a lot of stupid people out there, guys. Well, oh, yeah, it, yeah. it says that you won't get those cards, but you'll get the appropriate number of in-game currency oh, okay. to oh, then okay. like, rebuy well, stuff. That's good, at least. I guess that's not a total fuck you. Yeah, dude. Yeah. If, if they somehow tied that into something in World of Warcraft, where it's like, you know, if you beat... If, you know, if you run the hard mode through this one, you know, you, you kill some dragons or whatever, and you get a card based on that, holy shit. I can't believe we haven't seen more of that, honestly. Like, you know, achievements that carry over in other games. Like, that, that's, that, that, that's kind of surprising like, that we haven't actually seen that. It's usually, like, unlocked your Avatar awards for, like, yeah. 360 games. Like, oh, you played the first of this game. Here's yeah. a shirt or something. Yeah, or even, like, like in, uh, in Trials Evolution. It's like, if you played Trials 1... Oh, you get the bikes. You get the bikes, yeah. And it's, like, stuff like that. It's like, okay, that's kind of cool. But, mm-hmm. yeah, um, the idea of, like, making that, an, you know, a really in, big aspect of another game, like, that could be, that could be neat. Hmm. One of the things that I liked about this uh, this beta for Hearthstone was they explicitly say there's no NDA. You can tell everyone you're playing it. You can film it. You can stream it. You can do whatever you want. That's pretty cool. It's like great. Like the info, the information's just out yeah. there. Th- there was some there was some company that came out recently. I think the guys who do Hotline Miami, like their publisher, came out. Oh, and oh they, yeah, yeah. They dropped the a website. website saying you know it's like, it's like you know can I stream or can I monetize you know what whatever brands games uh, for money it was Devolver Digital Devolver yeah. yeah yeah and it's just a big website that says yes <laughs> it's, it's like, like the are you making more red versus blue website yeah exactly it's like, uh, Devolver cool. was also at RTX yeah, yeah yeah that's right yeah mm-hmm. Hotline Miami is there um, I'm excited for the second one yeah, yeah it's I'm happy cool. it's going to be it's, on consoles it's a hard game yes it is I, like, I, I bought it on Steam yes, like, anticipating it would just be like a fun another game, game I, don't, I don't play PC games I, like, I play the game a lot holy shit this game is fucking hard man saw a speedrun of that recently guy beat in 25 minutes can't even get past yes absolutely can't even get past like the fourth mission, 25 minutes. It's like Jesus. That game one hit death, mm-hmm. no matter what. You know what game came out recently that we haven't really talked much about? It's not really in the wheelhouse for Achievement Hunter. Is uh, Disney Infinity? 
Yeah. That thing, I think, is going to make a billion dollars. You think so? Well, that's like yes. Skylanders. Is Skylanders it's, still popular? It's Skylanders with Disney characters. No, but Disney definitely helps it. I mean, having Disney characters, like, you know... like So not, does it have Marvel and Star Wars characters, or is it just, like, Disney animation characters? Uh, well, it's, it's, I mean, it's got, like, it's got the... Uh, it's got, uh, I've only seen Disney Jack Sparrow, characters. and it's got uh, the Davy Jones and a few characters from that, from live action stuff. It's so got, like, Tomater and... Uh, Disney proper, not... Yeah. Yeah, but it's got all the Pixar stuff in there, so it's got Pixar, it's got the live action stuff, but as far as, like, yeah, like Iron Man and things yeah. like, like the Marvel characters or well the, that uh, Skylanders game was just like a like a story game right and this and in, in Infinity it looks like there's like you can actually build stuff and yeah, build yeah. levels and stuff they so have it's, like a, they have it's a, more in depth I think it's called Toy Box Mode or something yeah, where you can actually build depth. up like yeah. you know you can make like you can make challenges for friends and things mm -hmm. like that which is kind of cool it's sort of like um uh, the Sackboy games, Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet. Yeah. So anyway, I'm curious to see what's going to come of that. But I know now, like every time you walk in the game, oh, stop, God. it's like uh, you just see nothing but just walls full of you know these toys and it's like. They're going to sell a shit ton of these things. So, anyway, I mean, I saw the E3 and it looked pretty cool, but... You know. Yeah, I'm not into those games. I mean, I know a lot of people who yeah. are really into Do you Skylanders. remember uh, that PlayStation 3 game, Eye of Judgment? Yes. When I, I remember working at GameStop and having, like, walls of the actual trading cards and nobody bought it. Well, then they had it where, like, people were, like, scanning the cards and uploading them online. So you could actually print out the cards. Oh, really? I yeah, because they were the AR, right? Things? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They had some code. That's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, so people were just printing out the actual little, like, code mm -hmm. so they could have whatever character Whoops. you want. So. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, it was great. Not I thought it was going to be a, a huge deal, but then yep. yeah, yeah. that happens. It kind of like, like the whole system. <laughs> yeah, like, Somebody finds a thing, and exactly. then it's, yep. yeah. rest so. in peace, Dreamcast, never forget. <laughs> RP Sega. <laughs> This one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they uh, D uh, Blizzard came out and also announced the new Diablo three expansion, Gus. Mm. Uh, you are stealing my thunder. It's uh, right here for me to talk about. Oh, I'm I don't have any I'm thunder. At, like, Kotaku right now, so I'm looking at joystick. And uh, joystick. No thunder. How do you joystick. say? How do you say it? Do you say joystick or joystick? Joystick. joystick. It's a Q though. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to be clever. Joystick. Yeah. joystick. <laughs> joystick. <laughs> Diablo three Reaper of Souls expansion revealed. Reaper of Souls. I'm assuming that's. Only PC because the 360 and PS3 versions come out next week. I think that's a good point. I'm I didn't pretty, even think about that. I'm pretty excited um, for it actually. The Reaper Souls expansion, blah blah blah. I can assume it's only for PC, but it seems like it could be DLC, right? Could be DLC, maybe not like when the game comes out. Well, it's yeah, no release dates announced for the Contra for the version. expansion yet, okay, or for oh, the yeah. for this. Expansion. There are so maybe. So yeah, they might be able to patch Play it. Play Diablo up. at E3 on the the console. It worked fun. I mean, so did you say the console version comes out next week? I see either next week or the, the week after. Damn. Well, we can finally do that. Uh, not that you guys care. Bernie Forever Go talked about doing a podcast, hardcore Diablo three playthrough. You can oh, yeah, uh, yeah. you can do four people on one box. I think. Really? Yeah. I know you can do at least two. Oh, we're I absolutely. think maybe yeah, I think, it's four. Yeah, I think. No, I think you're right. I think you can do four. Yeah. I want to say the corners because they had it at E three. The Activision yeah, booth. they had player one and two in the corner. So maybe you can do four. Oh, I'm almost one hundred percent positive you can do four. Absolutely going to do that. But, then. Uh, I don't think you can you can get too far away. That's the only thing if you're doing it on the same console. Well, it's probably the deal where like the camera just pulls back. You know, like if you're close. Yeah, but it can only pull back so much. Yeah. You don't want it to be like little pixels. But uh, uh, I don't know. I'll play it. Yeah. I'll yeah. I, I like Torchlight too. I wish that was on the 360. Yeah, I never. Um, I, I, ne I like I didn't get into Diablo three for some reason. I bought it and I played it for a little bit. I just didn't hook me. I don't know why. Didn't, like the economy or something in that game get all messed up, and then there was like a whole big thing. Was it messed up? You could sell like you could items for like real, real money. money. Yeah. yeah, like Adam Baird, I guess yeah. I had to specify, Tech. made his money back from the purchase really? and then from sold. one item. Like yeah. he, he he sold one item in game for one hundred twenty dollars. That's wow. Like, so yeah, he's like, yeah. oh, I paid for my game. Is that legal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's part of the game. It's in the auction so. house. Well, they did that intentionally because in in World of Warcraft, people were selling items through like eBay. And they said, "Don't do that. Don't do that." You know. And then, but I remember seeing like people selling gold on eBay, and like, yeah, there were whole websites uh, devoted to it. Really? Yeah, and there were websites devoted to not only selling item, like gold and items, and mm. like all of that stuff. You buy characters too on the same websites. Yeah, yeah, you just buy these full-on accounts. And that was always the joke was when you're in like a PvP situation, someone's like. Super doing high bad, level and you're not like, good. You're like, oh, you bought this account. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. idea what the fuck you're doing. You didn't spend, you know, weeks of your life yeah. figuring out weeks what all your buttons do. Yep. You're just like, why would you do that though? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so you can. I've, I've got a video here of uh, Diablo three running four players in the, the four corners. Oh, so it is four players. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So, oh, great. So that's cool. I that's, assume you could also do online as well. Uh, I'm assuming so, but you know, but for something like that, I like the idea of couch co-op. I like the idea of being yeah. able to sit shoulder to shoulder with whoever you're playing with. Like we did a Cloudberry Kingdom Let's Play that was just it was some of the most fun we've had in the Achievement Hunter office, and it's just it was you know it was what uh, Michael, Gavin, myself, and Ryan 
just sitting there screaming at the screen and just all one big screen. And it's just something about that just makes it more fun. Like you know, it was pretty intense just watching it in the office. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we also found out that game has three hundred and twenty. No, no, three hundred and. I think 60 levels or something. Yeah. Like we thought we were almost it's done with ridiculous. the game. And then like I actually contacted the developer asking how many levels were in the story mode and he surprised me with an extra 40 than I thought we were going to have. Wow. It's like, it's a fucking nightmare. So we're still working our way through it but we've got like, I think five or six Let's Plays worth of no. content. Wow. Shot. And only one's so, come out so far. So. Yeah. There you so, go. Anyway, there, there are more coming. So. Yeah, whenever y'all play, alert. I can hear y'all screaming like from where I sit upstairs. Yeah. Did you guys it's, playing Payday the other day? Yes. Yeah, that was fun. That was game was hard to find. Yeah, yeah, we it took yeah it took all day to get four copies of that game. We spent Friday. All we did Friday was just look for that. So that was the game. hardest game, like ever to find, right? That's not like a Halo or a Call of Duty, yeah. for example. I mean, right? for for what it's worth, it was available. Even on, then, those games have like a million copies, so you can walk to a store and get yeah. it. Yeah, like this one, you walk to the GameStop to like to pre-order. It. Like, no, well, we didn't get any extra copies. <laughs> really, you didn't buy? It's the game. It's like the game coming out. This yeah, week. you didn't buy a game. single extra yeah. copy for the store, but. It, it, yeah, it was, it's one of those things, and it did come out on the PS3 on the PlayStation Network. You could download it. I think day one. It was also on Steam. It was on Steam. It was on Steam. Day so one. people, like, you know, I was like, does anyone, you know, uh, we're looking for copies of the games. Like, oh, just play it on Steam. It's like, we don't want to play yeah. it on Steam. It's going to be set up for Xbox. Games, or games on demand on Friday this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you don't have it, it's only $40. Yeah, and it's a fantastic game. It's. Well, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> I, I like it. That's I, pretty good. I, I like, the, I like the, the building character co op aspect. I, Playing I like, it with like, friends is a blast. Do not touch the game with the AI. Yeah, um, it, it's fun when you can yell at people. Yeah. I don't know if it would make sense over live, but I know sitting in the same room playing with yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. other I played people. It, I played it on live this weekend for a bit. It was still, still a good time. Yeah, it's fun. The game gets more fun out. when you level up, and a, a big thing is waiting for drills to like drills doors. Oh. When you unlock the C4 to blow stuff open, it's like, I just saved four minutes of my life just waiting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the AI, not good. Yeah. Playing with friends is good. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a big week no, for I, games. I, I don't like... Sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I don't like... The crime net interface in that game. I don't either. Where you go to like, oh, I want to. I want to play a jewelry mission. store heist. Yeah. Like, nope, you got to stare at a map and wait for it to like pop up. You have to wait for it to pop up, and there's like little dots indicating difficulty. So, say one mission can have up to like three dots of difficulty. Sometimes it'll come up with one. Sometimes it'll come up with two. If you want to do like, and sometimes it'll come up with three, and then it'll have golden dots, which are like extra difficulty or extra difficult. So sometimes you want to do like one that's like three and two oh. gold stars, and it's like. The only way to restart that that I know of is to go back to the dashboard and yeah. reload the game. That Jesus. explains a lot. Because one, cause I was, <laughs> also there's something called Pro Job where it's usually multiple days, and if you die or if you fail on like day two, you you start back at day one. Oh. So like I played one map where uh, I was doing this heist in a jewelry store. Yeah. And you know there was like in the back of the store there were multiple windows for the police to come through. Yeah. Then I failed, so I was gonna do it again, and then the next time through there was like a shipping container blocking some of the windows, yeah. so they couldn't come in. I was like. Well, every time you play it, it's different, no matter what. But, I mean, the, the difficulty, or the dots are, like, how many guards are there and how fast, like, SWAT team gets there and stuff like that. Okay. So, that makes it sense. adds to it. But at the same time, if you want to do a certain mission, you're not going to get that right away, yeah. most likely. Yeah, you just wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I had some frustration with it. And it was also difficult for me to figure out, like, how, even how that works. Like, oh, go to the map and... Yeah, well, we were trying to set up the game. I'm like, how does this... Like, I, I went to just crime.net, which is the online, and... Uh, there were dots everywhere and names and stuff. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, oh, those are open games you could join. Yeah. And then like, and you have to find like the empty one yeah. to make your own. Yeah, it's funny that game too. Like at one point, we uh, we had like we had uh, we had Coke and we had like run Coke and hide it from somewhere. And so like not Coke, not Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, like we like, so like broke down the store. Like, 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 like you know like like drop off the Coke. It's like okay, so like ran through the store, ran. It's like where did that end? It's like oh, literally like right where we started was where we needed to drop it. Just like throw it out a window. Played that mission again. He was on the other side. Was he really? Yeah. Oh man, like this one literally like we had it just like sitting in front of the window we needed to throw it from, and then we took it and ran it off. <laughs> and it's like oh wait, gotta go back, go back. Yeah. So, anyway, that's in the Let's Play. It's going up today. I was uploading when I left. Yeah. So I don't know if still uploading nice. or not. But this, this is a big week for games, man. Saints Row 4, Splinter Cell, uh, Bureau XCOM Declassified. So, dude, Splinter Cell looks pretty cool. The Mercs yeah. versus Spice uh, vs. Mercs has a 4v4 mode now. I think we might have to I'm play really that. Excited yeah. about. So, I, yeah, I haven't had a chance to play it. Yeah, uh, yeah like Ryan's been playing a lot of it. He likes it. Yeah. yeah. The game, not the multiplayer mode. Yeah, yeah, I started playing, again, I started playing Smite last night. Yeah. <laughs> and I just <laughs> ended up playing that, like, yeah. forever. The game is addicting. So, so we're, we're almost at time. We've got about two minutes left. Okay. Uh, before we wrap up, I did want to mention that uh, Notch officially canceled the game he was yeah. working on, the OX-10C. Why would you make another game if you're Notch? He's loaded, right? Like, why? Well, he's well, not even working on Minecraft anymore. Well, they also, they are, they well have, he doesn't need to. They he doesn't have need to work scrolls another. and Cobalt. 
That's true. You know, those Cobalt's are... coming to the Xbox One, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, even know what that is. Me neither. Mm -hmm. I thought I was the only yeah. one. I didn't, I didn't want to admit it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I mean, do you think he really cares, though? Well, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I feel like OX10C was something that was... That was a space game, right? Yeah. Okay. He had put his name on, like he was in front of it. It's almost like once you make Minecraft, how do you follow? Like, what's the sequel? Like, people are going to hate it no matter what. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like you should just immediately make something else that people away. hate it and then just keep making stuff. Yeah. Like, if you really... I guess that's a good way to well, look at it. Have you seen, like, Cliffy B been tweeting stuff about, like, his next game, mm -hmm. something he's working on? It's like, what the hell? Like, he's like these wild screenshots from random things. And I don't know. I'm curious about that one. Like, at one point, it's like a guy's playing basketball, but they were, like, giants. And there was, like, a little ref that was, like, barely up to their waist. <laughs> and it's just like... Uh, but then, like, war-torn, like, cities and, like, giant landscapes. Like, I have no idea what the hell he's doing. Nah, so, but anyway, uh, we should we should mention that we're going to be at PAX next week. Yeah, we are. I guess, well, I, well, I'm leaving next Tuesday. I'm actually going to the GameStop Expo in Las Vegas next Wednesday. Yeah, so we'll be... Uh, there'll be another patch before then to remind people. Yeah, we'll be yeah. at uh, I won't be PAX before. on the sixth floor of the exhibit hall. That's the, the hidden elevator floor. <laughs> yeah, you just keep digging the escalators up. You got to find it. Until there's no more escalators, <laughs> and that's where we are. Yeah. Right. And then the you roof. go off the escalators, okay. through everything, really? hook a right, and then eventually <laughs> go down, then hook another right. I'm just going to lay down rose petals. Just, there just you follow go. those, you'll know where we're at. We'll put tape on the floor or something. But yeah, we'll be, so we'll be at PAX. We got, a, we got a bunch of us at PAX. Um, we got a panel at PAX on no, Friday, like Friday 1 o'clock. Friday at 1 p.m. Yeah. And um, I think we're showing off some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, just showing I'm up. So, I'm so not in the loop at this point. I'm just like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to go play some more Payday 2 and Smite. Kara wants you to show your tattoo that she gave you. It's on this side, though. It's on the wrong side, Kara. God Jesus. damn it. I got to turn. So, there. All right. Look at that. There you go. Zoom okay. in on that. He's got a camera over there. Yeah, there you go. Got it. It's a butterfly. Dude, no, it's a rose and it's a, a rose. butterfly. It's I'm a rose and a butterfly. I'm going to get so much V and D with this, you have no idea. <laughs> Non-stop. You're going to get VD with it? V and D. <laughs> I'm not picky. All uh, right. Probably VD also. Okay. Well, we're at time. On that note, let's get the hell out of here. So uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Uh, again on Monday with the next episode of the podcast, or RT podcast, and next Wednesday with another episode of The Patch. All right. Bye. Bye. Stop the party. Hey, I don't hey, want to hurt hey, nobody. Hey, hey, hey. I know you feel where I'm coming from. Regardless of the things in my past that I've done. Most of it really was for the hell of the